I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn. We can bring peace uh, and unite cultures uh, that once you know these tools and you know that they work, it's, it's not good enough that, that I'm just doing okay. All children are treated as adults because they believe that, you, that um, uh, there's, you're a spirit floating around the universe and then you inhabit somebody and you're an adult. So they always treat uh, children as, as adults. But from the age of six, she will be what's called security checked. That is to say, she's asked a series of questions. Does she spy on people? Does she have concerns about her parents and so on? Of all the cult groups we've studied for the last two decades now, Scientology has shown itself consistently to be the most effective in terms of its recruiting and more importantly, potentially the most damaging in terms of its effects on its members. So is Scientology a harmless fringe religion or is it a sinister sect that controls the minds of its members? To find out, the big story has sent an undercover reporter inside the organization. I feel that if it wasn't for Scientology, he probably still be here. Hello, leaders of Scientology. We are anonymous. Over the years, we have been watching you, your campaigns of misinformation. You got married when you were 15. Was it common in this organization to get married that young? It was very common, yeah. Girls would go to Las Vegas um, all the time to get married because in California you couldn't get married under the age of 16. Like that South Park thing. Trey Parker and Matt Stone make fun of everybody equally. But when they took a jab at Scientology, Isaac Hayes, a Scientologist who voiced the chef character, was arguably forced to resign. Words from a book showed me the way To be free of the shadows of yesterday But the price of that freedom we all must pay From now on Scientology was founded by science fiction author L. Ron Hubbard in the early 1950s. One of the key practices in Scientology is auditing, which is a kind of counselling session in which a person's unconscious thoughts from painful experiences are purged, often with the help of a trained auditor and a device known as an e-meter. Ali embarks on a communications course costing £50 designed to remedy her supposed lack of communication and relationship skills. These are a series of bizarre exercises. Her partner recites a series of numbers. When he moves on to letters, she must persuade him to go back to numbers. Oh, can you go back to the numbers again? I was just getting interested in those. And then the, the numbers were really interesting. Well, uh, thanks, 15, yeah. 15. In another corner of the room, a man is learning how to control an ashtray by telling it to stand up and sit down. These two guys came through the window, and Mr. Miscavige asked me on the phone, are they there? I said, yes. He said, goodbye and then I was physically taken off with these two guys to the hole. And when you're in there, can you leave? No, you cannot. What would happen if you tried to leave? You can't. You just can't leave. There's guards at the door. <laughs> 